Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are out on the launch pad today with the uh, JASKI, the uh, Jupiter uh, Atmospheric Science uh, Experiment. Uh, we're just waiting for our relative inclination to go down about another tenth of a degree. There we go, 0.27. I think we can make that work. And we're going to go ahead and get this guy into orbit. Oops, SAS is already on. Throttle is already set to full ignition. All right, and we're lit. Let's get those clamps off and get this thing skyward. And so the uh, launch of this uh, old RA9HV went uh, pretty textbook, angling down and eastward uh, into a beautiful sunrise. There was that small issue of the uh, liquid hydrogen tank trying to overheat and explode, but with just some quick piloting, we were able to avoid that. And we're able to get a fairly clean orbital insertion. All right, uh, 187 by 182 kilometers. That's not a bad orbit, if I do say so myself. Uh, relative inclination of the moon, 0.24. Also not bad. So we're going to go ahead and bring up Mechjeb and start to plot our course out for the moon. We have 2672 left in our upper stage. Uh, not bad, really, for the... Uh, our transfer stage is pretty heavy, but the probe itself is pretty light and you can see all of our junk here in orbit uh, Kentucky Kev and Goer 3 on their way to Jupiter uh, Goer 1 failing to go anywhere and those can probably be deleted anyway yeah and then uh, DOS P1 on its way out of the solar system soft one uh, having left Saturn is now adrift Anyway, all right, back to the task at hand. Sorry about that. Uh, focus, no, not focus view. Set as target. Although I guess we'll need the focus view later. Um, KSPDA, why doesn't your Xbox work? All right, um, maneuver planner. Transfer to another section. It's not going to bring up the pork chop very easily, so we're just going to let it compute and then uh, head back and do it there. Okay, pork chop. There we go. As soon as possible. Any time now. Oh, 6.992. That seems a little steep to me, doesn't it? We are going to need to tweak this node, as we would like to come in on the opposite side of Jupiter. Although I think these are going to be very, very touchy. We might need to use a maneuver node editor. It's not liking my mouse wheeling too much. All right. Yes, yeah, so I would like to come in. Yeah, well, that's not doing anything near what I would like it to do, and that's fine. If we can put our, we'll aim for this collision course, and then we'll make uh, we'll make changes later on. But it looks like it's trying to set us to come up behind Jupiter and swoop around the back of it. That is not what I want to do. I want to come in ahead of Jupiter, let it catch us, so that we can sweep around the front of it. Um, pretty much just like our Jossum B1 is doing here, because that means that we will have contact when we're on the uh, at our periapsis at Jupiter, so that we can do our very delicate maneuvering of uh, trying to drop these probes into the atmosphere and skimming some science from them before they destruct under heat and pressure, which will likely come quick. That's why we brought two, so we can one's a th kind of a throwaway. All right, 12, bur 12 minutes is our estimated burn time in 51 minutes. Of course, it's going to be on the dark side of the planet since we are going further out in the solar system. All burns take place over there. I'm sure you guys are well aware of all of that. Um, I've never seen this be 7 kilometers per second before. Maybe I have, and I'm just not remembering correctly. Maybe it's always been that way. Not 100%. Although, yeah, it looks like we're going to be a little bit off-plane for this. Just a few degrees. Can't win all the time, considering we've had a Jupiter window, like, four times a year. Now, it's been maybe twice a year, I think. I haven't been paying attention to the averages on it, and I don't know what, uh, realistically, a Jupiter window, how often they should come about. So, I don't know. I'm sure you guys know a lot more about that than I do at this point. If you want to fill me in or, you know, help a brother out, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
then tell me not to go flying past my maneuver node. We can ease on to that a little bit. We're going to come in and start just a little early. Not this early, obviously. Oh wow, that is pointing us way, way down. This should be interesting, because we sure, surely do not want to go tearing through the atmosphere. Yet. <laughs> not here. Alright, um, yeah, I'd like to get it down to about seven, no, six, okay, I guess we're going at five minutes. That'll, that seems to work. Uh, unstable, we're just settling our fuel, very stable. Ignition. No, thank God, all four of them lit. You never can tell with these RL-10s sometimes. Uh, we do just need to keep an eye on our periapsis. We've only got about 40 kilometers we can fall before we're in the atmosphere again. And then maybe another 10 kilometers after that before it starts really creating a problem for us. So we might just shoot a little high in hopes that we'll have some spare Delta V. Although I guess if we could cut that as close as possible and get as much of this Oberth effect from it as we can, that would not be a bad thing. Provided, of course, we can do it without uh, accidental arrow breaking. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be watching this so you guys can watch it uh, in sped up time. Unless, of course, I really screw it up, in which case you'll get to see it in real time. Along with some very colorful words that may or may not be in English. God damn it, no connection. Oh no, when will we... When will we have connection again? Oh no, not for a long time. Because we are very low. Oh crap. Well, that's no good. Oh, the least thing I can do though is transfer some fuel in. Okay, we'll pin that one. This is dumb. I did not think about this. And of course, it always happens when I think everything is going so well. So until we have a connection, we really don't have much I can do at this particular moment. But wait. Well, crap. That totally ruins things, doesn't it? What's our, what's our orbital period going to be like? About six days? No, 12 hours. So maybe we can do a lap. I mean, we're already way past it. Hmm. Be there in six hours. We'll be here in 12 hours. That means we will have rotated about uh, 180 degrees. So what's directly on the other side of the planet from our node? Oceans. But we might be able to have connection here through Bermuda or Santa Maria. <sighs> aye, aye, aye. Add a lap to that node and what happens? Do we still hit Jupiter? We do not. We go flying right past it. So, uh, because I guess that's computing the entire node. Dang it. All right, let's, uh, let's bring MechJet back up. Maneuver planner as soon as possible. Initial orbit must not be hyperbolic. Create node. Okay, well, that gets us there and at the cost of 5,100 meters per second in nine minutes. That's... We're not going to do that. No, 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 no. That, that is grossly inefficient, sir. And you're going to plan that about there. And just apply. Okay, you can go away. Uh, uh, 
the moon. Dang it, moon. Oh boy. That's not looking so good. There. Now we're not hitting the moon. How far out are we going? Good. Not quite there. So we'll just apply more and more and more and more and more. Until we get an almost bang. There it is. Focus view. Hey look guys, I can plot nodes all on my own. I don't need no mechie jib. Hmm. Uh, I don't know how accurate this is going to be. But hey, well, if you're going to go for an orbit, why not go for a polar one? Mm -hmm. I'd like to keep us away from all of those pesky moons. For this mission, anyway. So that we can stay on goal here. Although, of course, there will be a correction burn later on. We're going to try to switch sides of things and whatnot. So, that maneuver is in 12 hours. We can put all of these away. We don't need them anymore. All right, let's take our lap. There we go. All right, taking a lap. I'll say, well, we have connection and we are throttled down. Let's go ahead and just stage that part. No, no, not gonna. We're in time warp. I'm really dumb. And just inch ourselves away here. There we go. Unlock that tank as well. And that one. 49.16 is our total delta V. Available 44.75. Five ish is about what this burn is going to cost us, so we are right on, right as planned. That leaves us uh, a couple hundred meters per second to make our correction burn, and hopefully we can rely on just this little guy to insert himself into an orbit and execute the rest of the mission. So now that that stage has okay, I thought the game froze up for for a second, and I got. A little terrified. So let's uh, get ourselves around and warp to our maneuver node. Always scary. I don't know how good this uh, AJ, how well this AJ-10 is going to impart to 4.4 kilometers per second of delta V, but we're going to start it about five minutes ahead of time and just kind of hope for the best all right we are throttled down so uh, unstable activate engine good we have connection engine is active very stable ignition and we're going except uh, our Altitude is plummeting. We've only got about five kilometers we can fall, so we are going to shoot a little above this node. Okay, so we're falling... I mean, this rate of descent is not what I'm talking about. The rate at which we're shedding our periapsis is about a kilometer every 10 seconds or so, and I guess that number is going to increase the more speed we build. I'm not doing derivative math in my head. I can just count to 10 and see what happens. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, we're going to have to angle up out of this a bit. Is that, we had, yeah, we're coming dangerously close to plowing back through the atmosphere with this extraordinarily aerodynamic satellite dish. <laughs> I would like very much to not do that. So we're just going to wait until we've gotten a little closer to our periapsis before we start angling into that node a bit. But we will... That's all we can do really is just uh, wait it out. 
I'm not gonna, after all of this, drive this thing piling through the atmosphere at ten and a half kilometers a second. All right, 4.4 uh, meters per second currently remaining, and that's how much fuel. So we're going to lock those tanks so the RCS system doesn't just uh, absolutely kill it all. Eh, we are a bit off course. But it uh, does look like we have an encounter. Let's just double check that. We do. We do have an encounter. Looks like a pretty lazy one, but let's just uh, double check that. Jupiter. No. Uh, of course. All right, there we go. Focus view. Oh, yeah. That is a very lazy encounter. So we're certainly going to need a correction. Not a big problem. Uh, I will probably plot that off camera. And I think that's going to do it for us today. As soon as we can bring our little spacecraft buddy back up here. So, um, yeah, <laughs> thanks for hanging out. So far, so good. We're uh, coming up aces on this one so far, I guess. All the engines have worked and uh, nothing exploded yet. I'll call it uh, so far a win. So, uh, anyway, that's going to do it for us. <laughs> thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it, and I will see all of you in the next one. Until then, see you later.